Xiaomi has been known to bring products to market that pushes the quality to price ratio much further in favor of the consumer. On that note, let's begin this review of Xiaomi Mi Pro HD earphones. This video was sponsored by Gearbest. They often run specials on earphones and it's worth having a look there for great prices. To save me some breath, I'll call the Xiaomi Mi Pro HD just Pro HD. It comes in a white unassuming box that in a retail space can be easily missed as it does not make an attempt to stand out much. Once we open the box, we have two compartments in one we have the soft fabric carry pouch, which is nice. Then there is the plastic box that carries all the other goodies. The earphones are presented in similar fashion to what we are used to from Xiaomi. A while back I reviewed the Piston 3 and it presented itself similarly. The earphone is wrapped in what Xiaomi calls silicon hub network. Words man, too many words. Let's take a closer look at the earphones. Starting from the jack, which is gold plated, and the housing is metal as well. Just above the jack, there is a little sticker with a QR code. Please make sure that it is there, else it's a knockoff. And there are a lot of knockoffs out there. The cable by nature does not look anything fancy. Xiaomi claims it's stretchy. Not sure where they're going with that. The answer is, do not stretch it. Bad news will otherwise happen. The surface does have a soft matte finish, so points for that. Next, we have the inline controller. Man, this thing is next generation cool. Defines the word minimal. It's like a luxury watch. All aluminum with satin finish. Nice. Where the cable splits, there is no slider for cable management. Then comes the earphones themselves. In Xiaomi website, they are talking a lot of technical things to boast. Usually I tear through those fancy brochures, but in this case, here is an exception. All the things that Xiaomi has done adds up. And as a result, what we have is one of the best constructed metal shell for earphone, let alone at this price point. Again, very simple, minimal in design, but how it appears makes me think of Scandinavian design. But that is in real estate terms, black used with raw surface. Here, the raw surface is metal. Now about the fit. This is hard to get perfect because we all are not the same. We, as an individual, are unique and different. To have a universal fit is not often possible. And that is the case here too. Fit is just another in-canal design. The 45 degree tilt is something to say. If tilting the earphone by 45 degree made it fit better, then every earphone would have been made that way. The new thing in the market is memory foam ear tips as we saw with the Brainwaves earphones. Those change the shape to fit the individual, expands nicely and thus forms a fantastic seal every time. The Pro HD is nothing special in terms of fit and comfort. Although Xiaomi did go the extra distance by providing medical grade silicon ear tips, regardless, at times it felt to me the earphones are coming loose and about to fall off that is not a great feeling to have when I'm commuting. Finally, the sound. Before we go any further, I must stress that the right fit is very important. If the ear tips are loose or the earphones are not placed in canal properly, the experience will be compromised. Well then, what do I think of the sound? Initially, I was happy when I plugged it into my phone. I'll dissect the sound in a moment, but in short, it was a good start. But as I do with tests, I plug the earphones to the computer which uses a Sonar DX sound card. My impression went from good to great, to near mind blown. 
What I was hearing was what I would expect out of headphones that has bigger drivers or perhaps with an active system. This here, we have an earphone pulling weight like a big guy. The dual drivers came to life and all the lows are audible. Note for note, brilliantly. My mind was telling me that I'm hearing sound from a large driver, something like a 12 inch sub for example. But in reality of course, that is not the case. The mids are nicely detailed as well. To the extent, the organic tones of a vocalist's voice felt quite natural. And the trebles are well under control, from the low end of what can be considered treble to the last portions that I can manage to hear. When it comes to the sound, this is the full package, wrapped in pure pleasure. I love the sound of this earphone, while at the same time I've started to dislike my phone. What I mean by that is, this earphone is so far ahead that phones and contents streamed over the internet needs to catch up. As the name suggests, HD, it needs high definition source to come to life. And now, I want it to be like this always. It is retailing at about $50 give or take. Please check the link in the description for the updated price. There are other earphones that as a package offers more at this price point. The Pro HD is built brilliantly, while at the same time the ergonomics are nothing uncommon. So there are some low points and some high points. When it comes to the sound, the Pro HD not just scores high, it knocks it out of the park. Well, that's the end of the video. What you liked or disliked about the video, please feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Also, please do subscribe for our latest upcoming videos and giveaways. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.